All right, I need to get better at, at drawing circles. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we have a problem here. We want to find the distance between points A and B, or the length there. Now, let's look at our image here first. We have three circles inscribed in a rectangle. One circle has a radius of six, other has four, the other one is three. The centers of the radius three circle and the radius six circle line up with A and B, and we want to figure out what that distance is. So I'm gonna give you a moment, pause this video if you want to see if you can solve it. If not, well, like always, we're gonna dive on in. So when I'm approaching problems like this, let's get some labels here. Let's go call these circles uh, M, uh, N, and let's call this one uh, P, right there. So give us a little labeling that becomes helpful. All right, what I'm gonna do first here is I'm actually gonna draw a line from, well, N to M. So let's go draw a line here. Right there, line N to N. So we drew a line N, M, and what do we know about that line? Well, that line has a length of radius of four and radius of six. So N, M has a length of 10. Now, I'm gonna drop a line perpendicular down from the center of the circle, N, here, okay? And let's go make it, I guess make it a straight line for right now. Go down here. But what I'm gonna do now is perpendicular to the bottom. I'm gonna draw as a line across from here that's perpendicular to the center of circle, M. So to do that, I'm gonna go line up everything here, make sure everything looks fine and dandy. Looks good to me. Let's draw the line, and we got a right angle. Now, I labeled that point uh, D right here. So I call that point D right here, and we have a right triangle now, D, N, M. Can I find the length of N, D, or D, N? What is D, N equal to? Well, to do that, if I continue this line, it might be a little easier to see. It might get dotted, though, here. Dotted right there. If we notice, this vertical line here from M up to the top it has a radius of six, so that's six units. Down here to this center of the circle is four units, because that's the radius, and six minus a four gives me a length of ND, which is a two. So now we got the length of DN. Let's go put that down here. We got a two here, and we got a 10 here. So with that, we have a right triangle. We got two side lengths we can find the third. Let's go find the length of dm. So dm, that length, all squared plus two squared gives me my hypotenuse squared, which is a 10 squared. Now from here, we want to, well, solve for dm. So we have, let's go dm first, all squared, plus two squared is four, equals 10 squared, 100. Subtract a four to both sides dm, and we take the square root. I think you can understand that little skip there. Square root, 100 minus four is a 96, and we get the square root of that. And that comes out to be simplified to be, uh, what did I get, four square root of six, I think? Yeah, four square root of six. So the length of dm is a four square root of six. Now, how's that helpful for us? Well, let's call this point down here c, and cb, and is the same exact length. So we have the length here of CB, which is also to DM. So we got that length, if we can get the length of, uh, uh, yeah, C to B here, as the same length of DM, we just need the other half. We need to get AC. So let's do a similar thing here between P and N and C, and let's see if we can make a right triangle here. So I'm gonna go connect here, N and P, Connect that here, it's gonna be our hypotenuse. We make a horizontal line across here from the center of circle P to this first line that we drew that went through the center of circle N, and we got a right angle. Now I label a point here, I call that one E. So I just keep everything you know, the same here. And now we wanna see if we can find different values along, well, this triangle. Luckily for us, PN, PN, that line is equal to the radius of three plus the radius of four, 
right, going across here. So we have three and four, three plus four, which is equal to a seven. So we have like the seven here. And again, not draw the scale, uh, but there's our line there. Now, what's gonna be difficult here is what is the length of N E? How can we find that length? Well, what is the height of our overall rectangle? If circle M tells us anything, it tells us that it has a radius of six and its diameter is equivalent to a height. So this overall height of the rectangle here is a 12 units. So we're gonna use that information to see how can we get the height of N to an E. So we know that the radius of circle N is four, so this length is four, and so the length of NC is equal to the overall length 12 minus the length of N to the top of the rectangle, which is four. And that gives us a good old eight. Then if we take the, that's the length of N to C, if we know the length of E to C, E to C is equivalent to, well, the radius of P going down here, and that is a three here. So if N C is a eight and E to C is a three, we subtract the two and we get the length of N E, which is eight minus three, which is a five. So length of N E here is a five, or we can see that there. And now we need to find the third length of that triangle. Again, Pythagoras helps us out here. So we have P E, all like physical education squared, plus the length of five of N E, five squared, is equal to our hypotenuse, which we found to be seven squared. Simplify this, P E all squared, plus a 25 equals a 49. We subtract the 25 to both sides, and we have a PE is equal to 49 minus 25, which is a 24. Again, taking the square root of both sides, and PE equals a square root of 24, which uh, simplifies to be, I wrote this down, a two square root of six. So now we have the length of PE, which is two square root of six, and if we combine the two, we have four square root of six here from C to B, and that's the same thing as, well, PE is A to C, which is two square root of six, right? So we we'll say that A to C is two square root of six. We can then combine the two, the length of A, B is equal to a four square root six plus a two square root of six, which comes out to be a six square root of six and as a decimal, I wrote that down, it's approximately, it's gonna make all the school children laugh, 14.6969 units. And there we have it. We found the length of AB using some basic geometry and some knowledge here and some, you know, critical thinking. And we got a length of AB to be six square root six units, which is approximately 14.6969 units. I hope you learned something in this video, and if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always here, thanks for watching.